Sounds of battle echo across a desolate stretch of land east of the biggest U.S. base in Afghanistan. Turns out, it's just battle practice. Villagers living around the East River Range say they're paying the price. Kids wander around and touch what they find. These kids, they don't know what is and isn't full of explosives, says Wali Mohammed Kuchi. These boys are waiting to scavenge for leftover metal casings to earn their families much needed cash. Wali Mohammed, who lost a leg and arm to Soviet landmines in the 1980s, worries for his 13-year-old son, Esahil. According to Afghanistan's leading demining NGO, at least 12 civilians from the range area have been maimed by unexploded ordnance in the last four years. At least one was killed. Shepherds graze their sheep on slopes littered with bullets, grenades, and in a recent case, an anti-aircraft rocket, according to the U.S. military. When I picked it up and then hit it with a stone, it exploded, says Abdul Rahman. Four weeks after the explosion, the 17-year-old still winces from pain to his eyes and left arm. He lost part of his other arm in a similar explosion several years ago. He believes that in both incidents, he was hurt by U.S. ordnance. His father, Zayar Gul, lost a leg to a Soviet-era landmine. He says it's U.S. forces who are now sowing destruction. It wasn't just something thrown from the sky. If it wasn't for the Americans doing their military exercises here, why would my son have been blown up, he asks. All along this 20-kilometer or 13-mile stretch is wide open land with very little to indicate any danger. The few signs we've found to warn this is a firing range are like this, in faded English. For a largely illiterate population that speaks mostly Dari and Pashto, it's almost impossible for them to understand their lives are at risk. Unexploded munitions now account for three times as many casualties as mines, most of them children, according to the Mine Action Coordination Center of Afghanistan. More seriously. Its chief of operations says to a certain degree, U.S. forces have failed in their duty to Afghan civilians. They should, have, should do something uh, to make sure that the civilians are protected after the war is finished or after the training is finished. Sergeant First Class Steve Cunningham says his unit does the right thing. We pick up the trash and we pick up after ourselves. Uh, we brought it with us, we're taking it back with us. The U.S. military says it understands the dangers. War is an inherently dangerous business and we try to mitigate that danger by consolidating those test firings and those routine, so to speak, uh, firing and, and expenditure of weapon munitions into a controlled area. As a grandfather of seven, he says he empathizes. I know how I'd feel if my kids got injured. I, I think uh, we have to uh, do a better job of marking. And Hartman says the military intends to minimize future casualties. After a decade of U.S. presence here, that will come too late for Abdul Rahman. Mohammed Jamjoum, CNN, near Bagram Air Base, Afghanistan.